because religion and the secular are to are thought of as being two sides of the same coin, let us also look at the word secular. There is a very controversial book from the 90s, uh, John Milbank's uh, Theology and Social Theory, uh, first published in the 90s. Me being as I am, I'll have to show it on camera. Which famously starts with a very famous phrase. Because, you know, secular as a word is a religious word. Seculum meaning the age. And it is the age from the beginning of the world till uh, the eschaton, the eschaton. So this is the worldly age, etc. And this was reconceptualized later as the non-religious, obviously. So this explosive book in the first chapter, Pol Political Theology and the New Science of Politics, begins with, once there was no secular, and the secular was not latent, waiting to fill more space with the steam of the purely human, when the pressure of the sacred was relaxed. Instead, there was a single community of Christendom, in the Christian case, obviously, with its dual aspects of sacerdotium and regnum. The seculum in the medieval era was not a space, a domain, but a time, the interval between following the eschaton, where coercive justice, private property, and impert natural reason uh, must make shift to cope with the unredeemed effects of sinful humanity. The secular as a domain, I'm continuing my quote, had to be instituted or imagined both in theory and in practice. This institution is not correctly grasped in merely negative terms as a desacralization, etc., etc. And uh, let us um, take a look at a more modern example, more contemporary example. Back in the 50s and the 60s, there was the secularization prophecy. There was near consensus in sociology, social theory, etc., that due to the assumptions that date back to the, to, to the very cradle of modernity as an era, that because science advances, progress arrives, etc., religion being a thing of the past, a relic uh, from times when we couldn't think straight, you know, because we were mindless drones due to being pre-modern, how orientalizing this is historiographically, by the way, the secularization thesis or prophecy uh, would profess that by the 21st century, religion would disappear. To quote the main prophet, the sociologist Peter Berger, in a New York Times article from, the, uh, from uh, 1968, a short quote, by the 21st century, religious believers are likely to be found only in small sects huddled together to resist a worldwide secular culture. Uh, this was the epitome of how social science thought at the time. Now, this very same uh, Peter Berger, 30 years later, in the desecularization of the world, resurgent religion and world politics, uh, 1999, would say, quote, my point is that the assumption that we live in a secularized wo world is false. I, I stress that this is the same person who said quite the opposite 30 years ago. The world today, with some exceptions to which I shall come, is as furiously religion, religious as it ever was, and in some places more so than ever. This means that a whole body of literature by historians and social scientists loosely labeled secularization theory, his theory, by the way, is essentially mistaken. In my early work, I contributed to this literature. I was in good company. Most sociologists of religion had similar views, and we had good reasons for holding them. Some of the writings reproduce still stand up, although the terms, etc. The key idea of the theory can indeed be traced to the Enlightenment. The idea is simple. Modernization necessarily leads to a decline of religion, both in society and in the minds of individuals. And it is precisely this key idea that has turned out to be wrong. It's certainly useful to understand that religion is not about to disappear. The belief is still quite prevalent among intellectuals, secular intellectuals. But religion is a kind of backwards phenomenon that with rising education will increasingly disappear. That's not happening. It's not going to happen. Peter Berger, The Desecularization of the World, 1999, who previously was the prophet of the thesis.